Hi, I'm Ensign Doris Richardson of the United States Navy, and I'm a certified personal trainer. And we're here to get you fit for duty. A show by the military, for the military, and for anyone else who wants a hardcore workout. Prepare to sweat. Hi, we're back again, and today's show is going to be a full body workout. So if you're looking for a workout that can work everything, your shoulders, your biceps, your, um, your back, your chest, your legs, this is the show for you. So if you only have a half an hour or less, this is where you want to be right now, working out with us, right? We're going to get it. As always, we're going to warm up. It's important to warm up first, just very lightly, and we're going to start with our head. Here we go. To the right and center and left and center and right and center and left four more and right and center and left and center and right and center and lifting those shoulders and up and up and up i want lots of energy up 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 it's eight seven six five four three and two let's circle those arms circle and circle. Just a nice warm up. How do you know if you're warmed up? When you break that little sweat. You know that sweat behind your ears? Here we go. It's eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two. Take it backwards. It's eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. We're just going to do this a little bit. Stretch it out. Get those kinks out. Come on. It's eight, Seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Let's take it to a march. Go. It's right. Big arms moving around. Wasting that energy. Here we go. It's eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, eight more. It's eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two. Take it wide. Big knees, come on. It's up. Just warming up. Ew! It's eight. Up. Seven. Six. There we go. Five. Four. Three. Two and one. Now we're gonna do punching right, punching left. It's punch. 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 It's eight. Seven. Six. Five. Four. Three. Two across the body. Eight. Seven. Six. Five. Four, three, two, punching down. It's eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, punching up. It's eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, across the body. Hup. Come on, six, five, four, three, two, punching down. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three. Two, both arms up, up, and reach, and reach, and reach, and reach, and reach. Four, three, two across the body. Four, three, two, punching down. Four, three, two, reaching up. Eight, seven, six across the body. Four, three, two, punching down. It's down, and down, and down, and down. Step together, loose the arms. How we doing? I don't see a sweat. Oh, I see a little bit, a little bit. Come on, step together. Nice warm up first. Always important. You can add a little hop. You can stay right here. You want more? You feel like you need to uh, sweat a little bit more just to get that heart rate up before we go into our band. You're right here. And add those arms. Press, 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 press. Eight. Seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Drop the arm. Squeeze. I see a little sweat. I had to bring it up. I had to turn it up. Here we go. Four, three, two, and one. And march. Phew! Okay, everybody sweat. Deep breath. Breathe out. Deep breath. Breathe it out. Right foot back, nice little light stretch. Make sure your knee is behind your toe and you want that heel down. Stretching out your calf, 
Good. And hold. It's four, three, two, and one. All the way to the floor. If we have more time, we'll be holding for 30 seconds. So we're just gonna kind of improvise. Reaching up, looking at the ceiling. Stretching out your back as well. It's four, three, two, and one. Bring both feet together. Flat back. Round it up. Shoulders around. Awesome. Again, that feels good. Good. Left foot back. Stretching. Good. Making sure your um, knee is behind your toe. Nice stretch. Many of us forget to stretch. We're going to do it a little bit today. All right. Go down to the floor. And hold. Four, three, two, and one. Reaching up. Same thing. If you do on one side, you do on the other. Phew! Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Bring both feet together. And back is flat. And round it up. Nice and shoulders. Shoulders around. Again. Four more. Everyone looks like they're ready. Let's grab our bands. You have an option here. You can use your band or you can use your hand weight. Depending on the exercise, you're going to start off with our shoulders. Nice round shoulders. Shoulders are the foundation of everything. Back is um, straight. Abs in. Here we go. It's lift to the side. Working your side deltoid muscles. And lift. Let me check out everybody's form. And lift. Absolutely. How are we going to do that? Awesome, Josh. Josh loves the program. You can add more resistance by widening your stance. And I want to remind you, make sure that the, um, your band is secure underneath your feet. You don't want it to pop up, okay? So you want to make sure that it's secure. Here we go for eight. It's eight. Down. Seven. No more. Six. Five. One more. Four. Three. Two more. Two, one more. We got eight more. Here we go. It's eight. Uh, seven. Uh, six. Five more. It's five. Uh, four. Making sure your abs tight. Three, two more. Two, uh, and one. Shake it out. And I see um, Latoria. She's um, working out with the hand weights, and that's great. We're going to do front raises. We just did our side delts front. Same thing, good steady stance underneath your feet, alternating, lifting right and down, left and down, right and down. As they continue on, what we don't want is a strain, so go with the resistance of your band. Good form, abs tight. We can work our abs at the same time. So I'm just going to make a suggestion to John that he comes up, maybe not so hot from here, and hold. Boom. And hold. Good. Awesome. Four. Four more. Three more. Two more. And last one. Good. Shake it out. Shake it out. Phew. Both feet. Underneath the band. This time we're going to do biceps. Elbows out. And you just want to bring your arms slightly forward. And not leaning forward. And not leaning back. A good stand. If I had a choice, I would lean forward. But standing up straight for right now when you're nice and strong, it's up and down. Up and down. And you notice that I'm not doing all like this, because that's a rest, rest spot. So keeping where the resistance are on my biceps. And for those of you who don't know what biceps are, where are they? All right, here we go. It's eight, down, seven, and six. Five. Can I hear you guys back there? Four. Huh. Three. Two more. Two. One more. Eight more. It's eight. Seven. Six. Five. Four more. Four. Three. Two more. Two. One more. And one. Shake it out. Woo! Feels that we're going to do alternating. And this time, we're going to speed it up. We don't always have to do a slow pace for a good workout. Here we go. Up, 
and up. Just pump it out. Pump it out. Eight, seven, especially with bands. You can use variety. This is your own workout. Personalize it. Two, and one. Did you feel the difference in that one? <laughs> All right, again. Eight, seven, six, five, uh, four, uh, three, two, and one. Phew! All right. To get the chest, I love push-ups. Push-up works your triceps and your chest and your abs if you do it right. So down in the push-up position. And I like this position too. So start off with your arms right underneath your shoulders. And I want you to walk your feet up and everyone get in this position right here. And this takes strength too. Try I want you to walk your feet up right like that. Head, neck straight up like that and hold. Awesome. Good. I want that head down just a little bit. Good. And abs tight here and tight. Here we go. Woo. Hold for eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Shake it out. Phew. Okay. We're going to do eight push-ups. My count. <laughs> Here we go. It's down, up, down, up, down, up. Down, four more, down, up, three more, down, up, down, up, and down, and up. I heard some grunts back there. Did everybody do it? Did they do it? <laughs> okay, we're going to do down, down, up, up, my favorite, my count. Here we go. It's down, down, up, up. If you have to go to your knees, go ahead. Up, up, down, down, up, up, down, down, up. Four more, come on. Down, down, up, up. Phew! Down. Am I the only one hurting? Down, down, up. One more. Down. I want you to continue that until we come back. Woo! Okay, we're back again. How was those push-ups? Also, I just want you guys to know that if you can do this, then you probably didn't do enough. So everyone, here. If you can put your elbows together, just on your own, you need to go back down and do some more push-ups. Get to the point where your chest is so tight that you can't put your elbows together. All right, so that's just a challenge. We also, we're going to move on to back. Everybody grab your band. Put your left foot forward. Make sure that it's secure. Remember, we're working the full body. We've already done our deltoids. We've done our biceps and chest. Now we're going to work your latissimus dorsi muscle. Somebody point to your latissimus dorsi muscle. Right on your wings, some people call them. And up and down. And up and down. This one is kind of tricky. And as you guys continue on, I want a good stretch here and pulling up. And your elbow close to your body. Good. Good. Very nice. Very nice. Excellent back there. You can um, add a little bit more tension on your rope. So on your band here to make a little bit more. Uh, so if you come back down and it's really loose, adjust it on the floor such as this, making sure it's secure. It's eight. So why don't you demonstrate how you do with the um, dumbbell. Here we go. Let's get on count. Four more. It's four and down. It's three and down. It's two and down. One more. Good. Let's switch sides. Same way, making sure that that band is secure underneath your foot. Get a good stand, just like we started off with that stretch in the beginning. And I'm going to put a little bit more resistance. Here we go. It's up and down. Stretching that muscle. You can stretch down and back. It's eight. And I'm going to grab one of your weights. You're doing awesome. 
Quick and stretch. Five, four, three more. Three, two more. Two, one more. And one. Stretch it out. Shake it out. Back is kind of challenging to get, so you got to make sure that you stretch down and you pull up. You're going to stay on the other side just to make it kind of even. Eight more. And you can use double weights, too. Double dumbbells, putting them together such as this. Here we go. It's eight and down. Seven. Six. Five more. Five. Four more. Four. Three. Two more. Two. One more. And one. Good. Take it out. Let's move on to triceps. Get a good stance here. And bend. If you want to do bend, wide stance. I had the dumbbells in my hand, so I was ready to go. Whatever I have in my hand, and that's important. Elbows up this way, if you have the band, and kick back. Good, and kick back. And you notice that you can't kick back a lot. And that's okay, it's the tension on your tricep that makes the difference. Kick back, good, and back. And I prefer to do kick back with dumbbells. It's back, and up, and back, and up. And you notice that at the top, I'm turning my palms up and back, up and back, up and back. Good. And the most thing that um, is most important, you protect your back, almost like this stance here. So you don't want to hurt your back. You get in a good stance or bending over this way. Kick it back. Kick back. And kick. How we doing? If your back hurts, then you stop and adjust your position. It's eight. Boom. Seven. Come on, six, five, four more, four, three, two more, two, one more, and one. Good, drop it. Want to finish off on the tricep. Let's take a little stretch here behind your ear. Other side. Down on the floor. I want your fingers tip facing in. Quickly. <laughs> and up. Here we go. Down and up. Down and up. I got this thing. Move with the purpose. Move with the purpose. Down and up. It's eight. Seven. And if you want more, move your feet out just a little bit more. Three. Two. Eight more. It's eight. Seven. <laughs> six. Five. Four. <laughs> three. Two and one. You know you're having a good workout. You got sweat in your eyes. Woo, how do we feel? All right, we're going to do eight more. And this time, if you want a little bit more, you're going to cross. Put one foot up. If you want to stay here, it's fine. Right here. All right. Here we go. Eight. It's eight. Seven. Six. Five. Four. Three. Two. One more. And one. Shake it out. Switch. You guys are with me? All right, here we go. Eight more. Here we go. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Good. Shake it out. All right, up on your feet. Woo! All right, we're going to work legs now. Everyone, this stance, what's this stance called? Catchers. Everyone, now drop your hips a little bit more. You should, be, you should feel comfortable just like this. If you're not feeling comfortable, then you need to adjust your stance. Put one hand on your right leg, one hand on your left leg, and straighten your back up a little bit. That's the proper squat. You got that? Good. So it's down and up, and down and up, and down and up. Abs are tight, and up. It's eight, seven, six. Five, four, three, two, and one. Shake it out. Woo! Right leg back, working your legs this time. Making sure that your stance, your feet are not totally lined up behind one another, but a proper shoulder width stance. You want to do that pelvic tilt? So you to do that pelvic tilt for me. Awesome, pelvic tilt. Hook. Protecting your back, making sure your knees back behind your toes. Lean forward a little bit more. Okay, and down and up. It's down 
and up. Down and up. Six, eight. Good. Seven. One more. Six. How we doing, John? Five. Four more. Four. Uh. One more. Three. Two more. Two. One more. Hold and hold. Woo! Eight. Seven. Six. Five. Four. Three. Two. And one. Woo! If I don't hear you, we just gonna keep going. I'm gonna assume that it's not enough. Check it out. <laughs> okay, left leg back. Same thing, good position. Shoulder width apart, pelvic tilt. Uh. Making sure your knee is back behind your toe, right over your ankle. Bend it down. Here we go. It's eight. Up. Seven. Come on. You should feel it on your front quad. And also, you should feel it right here. Four. Up. Three. Two more. Two. Come on. I like eight more. It's eight. Two. Seven. This is too slow. Six. Five. Four, three, two, eight more for the road. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and hold for eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Good. That was an example of if you're not feeling it, keep going. <laughs> Forget the count. Just work it so that you can feel it. All right, back in the squat position. It's down and up. Down and up. Arms out in front and up. Down and up. Here we go. It's eight. Boom. Seven. Come on. Six. Up. Five. Four more. Four. Three more. Three. Two more. Two. One more. And hold. And hold. Pop that foot up. Come on. Hup. Hup. It's eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and switch. Here you count now. Come on. Squat down. Here we go. It's eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, last eight. It's eight. Seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. This hurts me as much as it hurts you guys. All right, let's do some abs really quick. Down, move with the purpose, move with the purpose. Here we go, on your back, making sure that pelvic tilt, back is flat, press your head in your hands. Here we go, it's up and down. Do not pull on your neck, just a little up. It's lift and down. When you come back down, make sure you're not taking that rest. I call that a lazy crunch. You know when you go down and you just rest. But keep it tight, right on your ass. It's eight, seven, come on. Six, five, four, three, two, stay with me. I want quick. It's eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. And relax. Up for two, down for two. Up, up, down, down. Up, up, down, down. Up, up. There we go. Up, up, down, down. Eight. Two. And seven. Okay, I need you guys to count because this, this is hard for me. Four. And three. Two more. Two. One more. And one. And relax. Woo. <laughs> Everyone back on your feet. Woo, how was that? Believe it or not, we worked out everything. We started with our, we worked out on our shoulders. We worked out on our biceps, remember? We did our triceps, push-ups. We did our chest by doing, uh, we tying it together with the push-ups. We worked on our legs. We did a little bit of our abs. Train smart. When you have only a short period of time, this was an example, to try to get everything in. A little cardio, do a warm-up first. And that was awesome. Wait for that first sweat behind your ears, you know, underneath your <laughs> sports, you know. So wait for that sweat, and then you can start your workout. Remember, always train smart and stay strong. Yeah!
Hello, I'm Commander Dave Keblish, orthopedic surgeon at the U.S. Naval Academy, and here with me today is Petty Officer Joe Miller, an orthopedic tech. We'd like today to share with you some of our thoughts about core strengthening. Core strength means the development of strong abs and back muscles in order to stabilize the pelvis and lower trunk of the body for maximum delivery of power. There's a lot more to core strengthening than playing with large, loosely inflated rubber balls like this. This is called a muscle ball or a Swiss exercise ball. There's also more to core strengthening than just doing abdominal crunches, although both of these are frequently mentioned and utilized to help strengthen the core. This is called a pelvic tilt. While lying supine with your hips flexed and the weight largely on your shoulder blades and contracting your muscles the whole time, slowly tilt the pelvis forward, then backward, contracting your stomach and back muscles the whole while through both flexion and extension cycles. Perform this powerfully, slowly, and with long holds. Try several reps. Another good exercise to help strengthen the core is called quadrupeds. Starting from a position on your hands and knees while simultaneously contracting your abdominals and back muscles, slowly alternate extending first your arms and then your legs. Imagine trying to balance a coffee cup on the small of your back while doing this the whole time. Perform these motions slowly and smoothly with long holds. Once you've tried each arm and leg separately, consider trying the right leg and the left arm or the left arm and the right leg simultaneously. Another exercise is called planking. Start prone on your elbows and your toes. Try keeping your back ultra straight. Remember, you're contracting your stomach muscles the whole time. Again, picture trying to balance a cup of tea or coffee on, your, on the small of your back. You can do this prone on your elbows and toes or on your heels and elbows as well. Get that pelvis straight, raise it to the sky, hold it, feel the burn. We can try this on the side as well in a lateral position on one elbow and the size of your foot, get that body nice and straight. Try to hold that. This is not easy. Remember, for all of these exercises, try to keep your abs and back muscles held taut throughout. Together, let's get hardcore and core strengthening. And remember, let's train smart and stay strong. Welcome back. Thanks, Bowling, to Bowling Air Force Base. And I also would like to thank Joshua, Kenyatta, John, Latoria. Join us next time as we get you fit for duty.